So today we're going to talk about chalk. Um, climbers use chalk on their hands to improve grip, um, especially to remove moisture if it's particularly warm um, and if your hands get sweaty. So we're going to look at the different types of chalk that we've got. So first of all we've got loose chalk, which is quite useful because you can crush it up to the desired consistency. So basically you put this in a chalk bag and you just dip your hands and you want to crush it up, shake off the excess and then you can rub it together. So another option of chalk is a chalk ball which comes in a porous fabric bag. So this you can also put in your chalk bag, pat it on your hands. So the pros of a chalk ball is it's going to coat less chalk onto your hands and it's going to last longer. Okay, another option of chalk is liquid chalk, which can come in bottles like this. We've got a soft chalk and a strong chalk. The stronger chalk generally will have more alcohol in it and it will dry quicker. So for liquid application, we want to shake the bottle and we're squirting it on our hands. And then we're going to rub this on our hands and it should take about 30 seconds to dry with your hands still. And if you shake your hands, it'll take shorter time to dry. One bonus to using liquid chalk is that it's going to last longer on your hands. It's harder to apply, you can't apply it one-handed for when you're climbing like you can with loose chalk, but you can also put loose chalk on top of this and it will last longer. As climbers we've got a responsibility of leaving no trace, especially when you're climbing outdoors. Always remember to brush off with a soft brush any excess chalks that are left on handholds or any tick marks that you might have left. This leaves the rock in a nice condition for other climbers and it makes the countryside look nicer.